Okay, so guys, this month we are continuing to work on our pin and submission escapes. And remember, all of our sequence that we work on, we work on not just getting out of bad positions or even just the neutral, but going directly back into attacks. Uh, so we're gonna actually go from uh, escaping back control directly into a head and arm choke, and then use a variation of the head and arm choke that Craig Jones has been showing that's really, really, really nasty. So from here, first and foremost, you gotta get my thumb in here, and I've gotta control the choking side arm. As long as I have this on this wrist, I am okay. This is priority one. If you don't believe me, ask Gordon Ryan, because he says the same thing in all of his videos. So get this overhook hand, get it nice and locked down. You can use this hand two on one if you choose. I'm going to now bridge way, way high until my head comes all the way up past his. And as you can see, whichever side my head goes on is typically which way we're gonna fall. So now I'm able to fall this way. This foot will oftentimes come off. If it doesn't, as long as this hand is on here, I'm okay. You can pop that foot down, step over, and get my butt over the top of it to clear the knee. From this point, I'm now going to shuck my shoulder down. So now my butt and my shoulders are up against the mat. Now here, it's very, very important to understand that there's gonna be a scramble here, so we have to be prepared for it. I like to two on one this arm. Now we can immediately just swim this arm over and come up onto top and escape. But instead of doing that, we're actually gonna go directly into another tack. So I'm gonna keep my two on one here. I'm gonna shuck it straight all the way to the sky. Now this is gonna actually keep him from turning over onto me because he tries to turn and it's gonna slow him down a lot, as you can see. As he sits up, that's fine. I'm gonna release this arm, re-inject this one, and come immediately to my head and arm or arm triangle choke. From here, slide this up nice and nice, nice and tight. Get my palm down, gable grip. Now here's where we're gonna do things a little bit different. We're gonna do it the way Craig Jones has been doing it. From here, I'm actually not even gonna worry about stepping out of half guard. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go temple to temple, bring my knee up into his rib cage right here up by the shoulder and pinch it and use that to create a driving force to draw my arm back for a very nasty head and arm choke. And it's okay because even, because typically for them to get out of this, they're gonna roly poly their legs up and use that to kick themselves out. But when we do it this way, when we hook the inside leg, I just hook this knee into the side and use this to create a lot of pressure he can't really pull me up to get out at all. And it's just a very, very nasty head and arm choke. And that's our recap for today.